Hey guys, Russ Merrow here. So just two days ago, the brand new Kamen Rider mobile game Kamen Rider City Wars was released and as promised in my previous video where I sort of gave a tutorial about how to pre-register for the event, here's basically a basic tutorial about the basic mechanics of the game. So first of all, I'd like to apologize that because of time constraints and my busy schedule, I won't be able to make a proper uh, video tutorial for this game. I've actually made already a detailed uh, walkthrough of like the basic mechanics on my blog so I'm gonna put the link in the description down below and you guys can check that out later in this video I'll just be giving a sort of shorter compressed version just to get you guys familiar with some of the basic mechanics and if you guys want to know some of the further details you can feel free to either check out my blog post about the game or ask me on my discord server as well and actually, I'd also like to let you guys know that after playing the game for about a couple of hours, I realized that the game isn't really for me. Like, uh, I have to be very honest about this, I actually don't think... I think uh, if you guys have seen some of the videos, the animations and like the fan service, the battle scenes of the attacks of the riders and all the form changes, they're all really cool and like the finishes and all that. But honestly, I think it's not a very well-structured game. And you guys might say that, you know, that's a bit quick to judge since this game has only been up, been out for a couple of days but like just looking at the structure of the game as a whole I have to say that if this game was like a console game I think I'd give it a try for like the fan service and the Kamen Rider love but as a mobile game I can't really see it as being much more than like just a big uh, uh not to be too rude about the whole thing but just kind of a time waster like I don't know, the game doesn't feel very rewarding with all honesty, like, so I'm just gonna stick to the other Kamen Rider mobile game, Kamen Rider Battle Rush for now. And alright, uh, with that out of the way, let's quickly get into this tutorial. So first of all, here's the title screen, you'll see two black buttons in the top left corner, and I suggest you tap on the bottom most of those four buttons first cause that button's actually to download all of the game data in advance so that you won't have to keep waiting for the game data to load while you're playing the game so I definitely suggest you click that button first before actually touching to start. So of course for this video uh, sort of tutorial I'm going to focus on what you can do on the city screen so I think most of the buttons around the city screen are pretty self-explanatory since they were, they were nice enough to include like English words beneath each icon. But of course let's start with the sort of table at the top which, is, which isn't very clear. So uh, up there you'll see uh, RJX at some Japanese letters. That's actually your username at the city name you put at the start of the game. And on the bottom you'll have your rank and your BP. On the right of that, the 2 slash 2, that actually indicates the number of architects you have in your city. So having a total of 2 means that you can work on 2 buildings at once. So for example, you can be building one building while upgrading, a number, while upgrading another, but you can't have more than that. Of course, you can tap on the plus button next to it in order to increase the number of architects you have by paying hero stones. And hero stones are the sort of like paid currency for this game. They are like the gems, the pink color gems. You see them at the top right hand corner of the screen. And on the left of the hero gems, we have the blue energy balls, which are the R energy, which I think should be short for rider energy. And right below that is your gold. So the other thing I want to focus on in this video is actually the rider page, which looks like this. So on the left we have the Rider tab and on the right we have the Effect Cards tab. So um, on the left side we have from top to bottom we have Rider Equip followed by Rider Enhance and Rider Invite. And on the right we have Effect Card uh, Enhance, Effect Card Evolve, Effect Card View All and Effect Card Sell. So basically I'm just gonna give you guys a brief walkthrough about how you can actually power up your riders in this game. So first let's look at the Rider Equip page. So the rider equip page uh, typically looks like this. So after selecting a rider, the rider will appear on the left. And on the right, you'll see a bunch of slots. Uh, those uh, boxes with the effect cards inside actually, where you can actually equip effect cards on your riders. So the cards that you equip don't actually have to be of the same rider, but your rider will only be able to use the actions from the cards that are applicable. So for example, if you can see my Ichigo actually has Ryuki's 5 star final band equipped, but just because he's not Ryuki, he can't use the final vent as an action in battle. So in order to make an action usable by your rider, you have to set the equip card in one of the slots uh, right beneath the rider stats over there. So you see slot 1, slot 2, slot 3. You can equip more slots for actions and more slots for equip cards by uh, enhancing your riders, which we'll be talking about after this. But uh, more importantly, 
you can see that uh, your rider's attribute actually depends on the attributes of the equip card of the effect cards that you put on him. So the three attributes they are P for red, T for green, S in blue, power, technique, and soul. So right now I've got three soul cards, one power and one technique card equipped. And because there's an excess of soul cards as you can see in the graph, that means my Ichigo is currently soul element. So you can actually adjust the attribute or element of your rider in order to fit different battle situations. Because blue beats red, red beats green and green beats blue. And of course your rider's stats are actually uh, the combined total of his base stats including all of the additional stats from the effect cards. So uh, over there, uh, right below the rider's face, the list of stats. First we have the combined total, followed by power, defense, agility, paralysis resistance, burn resistance, and freeze resistance. If you hold down on a card, you can see the details of the card. So here we can see Ryuki's final van 5 star card. So the 5 gold stars refers to the fact that the star is currently 5 star, which was the way I pulled it from Gasha. But it has 2 more blank stars, which means that you can actually further evolve this effect card in order to become 7 stars. So if you, if you guys will look at the window on the right of the artwork, the percentage over there refers to the damage of the card's action. And the number on the right refers to its cooldown, which will be 25 seconds. On the bottom left, we have the card's level on the left and the action's level on the right. Increasing a card's level will improve the card's stats that it gives to an equipped rider, while increasing the action's level improves like the parameters of the action itself. And at the bottom right are shortcuts to go straight into Enhance and Evolve for this specific effect card. Up next, this is what the Rider Enhance page looks like. And in the Rider Enhance page, each rider has a bot which allows you to upgrade your rider's parameters at the cost of R energy and other resources. So uh, you guys can refer to my blog post to see exactly with what, what parameters each uh, icon actually refers to. So when you click on uh, uh, upgrade that you want to do, they, the, a window like this will pop up which will show you the necessary, uh, the necessary R energy you need to spend over there at the bottom as well as the necessary materials you need. So the materials can be obtained from doing the game's daily and time limited quests which I will talk about briefly later. So up next we have the Rider Invite page which is here where you spend our energy to summon playable riders to your city. So getting certain effect cards from the gacha apparently allows you to summon certain riders for free because uh, as you guys can see after getting Ryuki's final van effect card from the gacha, Ryuki became zero cost for me. Up next let's take a look at the pages for effect cards. So for the effect card enhancement page, here is basically where you feed effect cards with other effect cards to increase their card and action level. Typical mobile game stuff. As of now, I'm not sure what cards exactly you need to use to increase a card's action level. Maybe you need to use cards of the exact same type. I've tried using cards of the same rider but that didn't work. So maybe it has to be the exact same card, or maybe cards of higher star level, or maybe they'll just only be special effect cards for increasing action level. And up next, uh, on the Effect Card Evolve page, after you select an Effect Card, it, it actually brings you to this window which shows you the materials you need to evolve an Effect Card, uh, in this case 5 star Ryuki Final Van to 6 star Ryuki Final Van. So just like enhancing your riders, these are the materials you'll be needing from the uh, daily and time limited quests. So let's quickly look at the quest page for now. So we have two tabs, on the left tab we have the Story Quest and on the right tab we have the Event Quest. So right now, uh, at the top, we're having this special game release event quest, which I highly recommend clearing as you will get a 4-star effect card for completing all of the stages in this quest. So directly beneath it are the quests for the PTS Shining Stones for each specific attribute which become open from time to time. And if you scroll down even further, you'll find the daily quests and a different colour of material is available each day and you need to grind these in order to collect materials to power up your riders and effect cards. One thing I should mention also is that not all cards come with a usable action and if you guys want to find out more about that, do make sure to check out my blog post about the more detailed mechanics. So of course let's get to the more important building part of the game. So here after clicking the build button on the main map screen we get 4 of these buttons. Top left are the resource producing facilities, top right are the production enhancing facilities, bottom left are the battle support facilities and bottom right are the special facilities. So for the resource producing facilities, we have the housing estate as the basic facility for producing gold and the R energy plant small for the basic facility for producing R energy. And once you click on a facility, you bring up the details and up here we have the details for the housing estate. So on the top we have a speech bubble sort of describing the facility beneath we have the facility's HP. 
below it the production rate which is 300 gold per 4 hours and then the amount you have over the total amount you're allowed to have and beneath that which are, are the requirements to build so look at those Japanese letters that actually refers to the level of your HQ which is a giant building at the top of your city so some buildings you'll have to upgrade the level of your HQ before you're actually able to build them as for production enhancing facilities at the beginning you only have the supermarket which increases the rate of producing gold uh, if you place them next to housing estates then for the battle support facilities, there are facilities which grant effects such as increasing the stats of your riders in battle. And for the special facilities, uh, there are special buildings from the various Kamen Rider franchise. So right here we've got Cafe Naskita from Build, which is unlocked from the start since you have built from the start and they become unlocked after you invite the relevant riders to your city and they provide stat boosts to the riders from those specific series. So before I end off, let me talk a, little, talk a little bit about the Gasha. So right now, if you guys to go to the Gasha page, there's a lot of uh, many different kinds of Gashas that are currently available for in order to commemorate the release of this game. And on the top of it, we have the 5-star guaranteed Gacha. So if you do a 10 times draw in that Gacha, you'll definitely get a 5-star effect card. But that is only... Uh, you can only... Uh, play that gacha using hero stones that have been purchased. So this game actually divides into hero stones that you get for free through the game and hero stones that you actually buy with money. So unfortunately for those of you who are free players like me, we won't be able to do this 5 star guaranteed gacha because it only accepts hero stones that are purchased with money. Below it we've got a bunch of different uh, gachas and these are not 5 star guaranteed but uh, They've sort of limited the pool of the 5 star for each gacha such that if you get a 5 star from one of these gachas, they'll only be from a specific series. So the one directly beneath is, uh, you'll only get 5 stars from original Kamen Rider, Deno Bill, and below that you'll only get Kamen Rider, you'll only get 5 stars from V3 and Exade. And below that is one where you'll only get Amazon, uh, Ryuki and Ghost 5 stars. So there are currently these 3 special, uh, series exclusive 5 star gachas available and at the very bottom of the list is just a general uh, effect card gacha. Alright so I guess that should be all for a brief run through of the game's basic mechanics. Hope you guys found it useful. If you guys would like to find out more detailed information or would like to ask more specific questions about some stuff I didn't translate because I didn't want to go into too much of the detail because I'm not playing the game, uh, feel free to uh, check out the blog post, I'm going to put the link down in the description down below where I have more detailed information about each of these mechanics. Uh, and feel free to join my Discord server and drop me a PM on my Discord on my Discord as well. I'll definitely be glad to answer any queries you guys have or like any specific things you guys might need me to translate. Like maybe you guys pulled a 5 star effect card, you guys are not sure what the effect is. Yeah, just feel free to add me on Discord and just drop me a message whenever you need the information. As long as it's just a quick translation, I'll definitely be glad to get back to you guys anytime. So with that, uh, hope to see you guys in the next Kamen Rider video. As I mentioned, I probably won't be, uh, I, I'm not gonna play uh, City Wars, so I probably won't be diving too deep into City Wars information beyond this, but since I'm, I've been really into Kamen Rider Battle Rush recently, I think I'll be starting to do more tutorials and gameplay videos, maybe once I have more time, about Kamen Rider Battle Rush, which is an older mobile game, but I think it is a lot more better than uh, City Wars, at least for now, it has a lot of cool mechanics and like Kamen Rider collectability and stuff like that yeah so I definitely like to introduce that game to you guys as well yeah so with that uh yeah really for this time hope to see you guys in the next Kamen Rider video